Shetzien did it again, and honestly, you are not going to believe what's coming. What I'm about to show you is going to change the way how we build our UIs forever. I got an exclusive look to the new Shetzien, and it's a game changer. But before we dive in, a quick note. This video is not sponsored by anyone. I'm on a mission to help open source developers. So if you want to level up with real collabs, PRs, code reviews, or one-on-one -on -one help, there is a special dedicated place just for you. It is called The Horde, and we have our own Discord channel. So if you want to grow with a community that actually builds, you have the link in the description below. And now, let's check out new ShedCN. And here we are. I'm so excited about this. Like, people are waiting for iPhones and movies and shows. I'm waiting for new ShedCN. And this is that moment. So here, we can see the old Shed CN. And here we have new Shed CN. Now you can see a little bit of difference in the title. There is no big difference on the landing page. And the biggest difference of them all, that's that new button here. Let me show you this new project button. Let's see what is this button actually doing. So I'm clicking the button and we are going to one completely new page. And that's for creating a new project. This is our new playground that is flexible in such a way that you're not going to believe it. Check this out. We are going here to our right sidebar and we can choose our component library. So here we have Radix UI and we have Base UI. So all the people that were saying that ShedCN cannot live without Redix and that it will not survive in React 19 and all the things, this is completely killed with this simple, I mean, not simple, this was probably so complex in a way that I cannot even imagine. Like this update was pretty complex to use totally different UI components, but it is done. So we can choose here our component library, then we can choose our completely new style. Now, this is the second thing that was told many times that all ShedCN apps look the same. But here we have Vega, Nova, Maya, Lyra and Mira and we can choose whatever style we want and it is completely changing the style of all of our ShedCN components. So we can choose this Lyra for example, it is just like squares without any radius and then we can cho choose our base color. You probably know this, these already, neutral, stone, zinc, gray, we can choose stone right here and you can see that it changed a little bit our components in the background, then we can choose our theme. So here we have different themes like we had in ShedCN and here you can imagine like all the open source possibilities now to create some new tweak CN that will change the style, base color, theme and all the things that are coming in the ShedCN ecosystem just like this will be really awesome for the entire ShedCN community. Then we have icon libraries. So it's not only Lucid anymore, we have table icons and we have huge icons. Now, when I saw huge icons, I was really happy. Like huge icons are so awesome. Like now we can choose whatever icons we want. This is incredible. Then we can choose the font. So whatever font we want, we can put it inside of our app and we can put the radius and here also the menu accent bold or subtle. And after that, what can we do? Guess what? We can click create project and we have our own registry command where we can create Next.js, 10 stack start and Vite project. So I can choose here Next.js copy that command and I can go to my terminal and inside of my projects, I can just paste in this command right here. And when I hit enter, what are we doing? We are creating a completely new project with all these options that we chose on the new create project page. And we can name now the project like IF love shed CN. And we are creating that project, we chose Next.js, so we are initializing 
Next.js and installing all the dependencies needed from ShedCN and we can just go to that project when it's installed. There it is, IF love ShedCN. We can run PM, PM dev and go to localhost and we have everything that is needed. We have our infrastructure ready. We can see it also here. So we have all the needed components and we can just start building our cool UIs. But this is not all. Of course, it's not all. We are going back to the new ShedCN. I'll make this page a little bit bigger so you can see everything. And we have here completely new set of blocks. Now, first set that we have is from 11 labs. If you don't know, that's a UI component library built for all the, you can see here, the visualizers, waveform, everything that is related with sound. And you can see how awesome does it look. Now, check this out. This is like a little bit cheat sheet that I saw from ShedCN creator himself. I'm just clicking here R on my keyboard and we are completely changing everything. But what are we actually doing? We are randomizing here. We have here a randomizer and I'm randomizing all these things in the right sidebar. So we are getting different themes, different styles, different icons and everything. And we can check it out and see how does it look in totally different styles. I like this one. This is a little bit orcish like green. Then we have GitHub block components. Now, this is something like, I'm not sure, like, is ShedCN rewriting whole GitHub? That would be really cool because GitHub looks kind of old. So we have here code spaces, local and all the things here. We have assign issue. We have here account menu, which is bringing this sidebar. Then we have this repository toolbar, profile, contributions and activity. All these things that are pretty cool for something that you are building that is GitHub related, the contributors and all these things. I really love how is this looking. And one new thing I noticed is that ShedCN is changing all these parameters inside of the URL. So he's using Nux in order to change the search params. And this is definitely the best way to do something like this because all these links are shareable. I could now send you my whole like design system with all the things that I chose in my right sidebar and it would totally work. Then we have here the Vercel block components. Now, these are all components that are used on the Vercel platform. And first I was kind of like, question marked by these components, but then later I saw that all of these are actually on the Vercel platform. And you can see the best probably from here when you check out these analytics and also this feedback form and all these things, it is completely same like on the Vercel platform. So this is also, it really comes in handy, especially like this kind of design. I really love how Vercel is doing things and all these like minimalistic, simple designs are always like looking really good. And final thing, we have ChatGPT. So everything that is AI chatbot related, we have it now by default in ShedCN. And I cannot believe it. Like, I don't know the reason why ShedCN went for something like this, because we have really a lot of UI libraries that are specialized for AI chatbots and things like that. But we have it now also in ShedCN and I love it. I love how is it looking. We have here all the things that are needed. So this is also really cool update. I really love these new blocks. Tell me in the comments below what could we build with something like this. I'd really like to get on some tutorials for new ShedCN. And one more update, of course, it has open in V0 button. Now, this one is opening our completely new design system inside of V0 that we created with ShedCN and we can use it directly there in order to create some UI with AI. So that's also a really good thing, especially for someone who doesn't know how to code normally. Like, And if you need some kind of quick UI that you want to put in, like some kind of schema or anything that you want, you can just create it in V0 and you have all the components available. And you can just start creating right here with prompting inside of V0. And of course, on this new page, we can check every component from ShedCN and we can test it out with just just clicking the R button, how it looks with different style and design. So we can go through each component like the badge, 
buttons or anything that we need we can also of course change to light mode and dark mode etc and we can see how does it look so we can send it to someone to like ask is this looking good or not maybe something like this do you like something like this okay let's go with this one and then we just create a project choose our framework and everything is working like from scratch we are starting with some kind of design system that we can keep and not every shed cn will be the same after this update i really hope that you enjoyed this video as much as i did i'm so excited it's like midnight 1 a.m for me it doesn't even matter i love doing this and this is the reason why i have my youtube channel and i want to share all these updates with you so if you want more content like this join the mighty horde subscribe to this channel and there is also a discord channel so if you want to level up as a developer as an open source developer if you need any help i'm always there for anything that you need so you have all the links in the description below and thank you for watching this one see you